All right, we are live again. Now we're gonna try sharing our screen again. My entire screen shared now. And here we go. Here, it here goes. we go. Okay. I've always had faith in Andy. I know most I don't know. I, my apologies stop. I don't know why that happened, but I trust me, I was doing the right things and it wasn't doing it. So Andy, starting over again did it. Before you start, let me show everybody what I got in my hand right here. Yeah. See we have, I, I got one of these. I got one too. Look at that. There they are. Yeah. And here's what they look like. Look, look at these beautiful little pills. This is my street stash. I'll be selling that on the street corner. Yeah, street value. Mean streets of Beverly Hills. All right. I might even hit West Hollywood. They like uh, it over there. I'll stop. All right. We're ready to go. Again, apologies for the delay, but we got it figured out. So we're going to talk today about vitamin D and vitamin K and why they work together and what they do, all of that. So here we go. First, uh, for everybody, do not order before the end of this webinar because there's going to be a, a special discount code for 30% off your vitamin D, 3 plus K, uh, at the end of the webinar. So if you go on now and you order and then you you know write to me and say, oh, I, did, I ordered it, but I didn't get the 30%. Um, but wait, there's more. There's more. They're right there. So hang wait, on. Hang on. Andy, I'm going to say it again because most people just went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coddington, every time we do one of these, you go, I ordered it too early. I, I'm yeah. telling you, Coddington, don't order this don't stuff order now. It. I'm begging don't order you. It. Do not press the button. Okay, Andy. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. There's more. There don't is more. Don't order it. Please. Don't order it. Okay. okay. One more thing. At the end of the webinar, we have a new, and I know people are going to be asking about combo packs and all that. We have a whole new pricing program that will provide great discounts on top of our existing combo packs. We're going to explain all of that at the end of the uh, the webinar. So hang on. We'll get to all of that. Let's first talk about vitamin D and vitamin K. Okay. What is vitamin D? Everybody always wants to know. Well, what is it? I don't understand. Well, vitamin D, like vitamin B, you know, you hear there's vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. There are actually several vitamin Ds. It's a group of compounds. Uh, they're among the fat soluble vitamins, which means that they dissolve in the body in fat and are stored in the body, unlike the water solubles. The other vitamins, uh, uh, fat soluble vitamins are K, A, and E. All, the whole B family and C are all water soluble. Um, it's not, it, it, uh, one of the few vitamins that's not very readily available in food. It is in some foods, but it's hard to get from food. Anyway, just a second. People are asking these questions right here. Present the thing this way. There. Is there some way we could change it? We're, they're seeing, I guess, all of it right now. Um, um, how about that? Is that better? I think, I think you're still going to see all this. That's just the interface of Crowdcast. You're still going to see the chat window on the right. Yeah. So you're don't worry about see. it. Look, yeah, we're, we're rookies. So just you see the information. So let's just go. And he says Alt F5. Well, I'm going to take your word for it here and see what happens if we do Alt F5, Andy. Look at that. Uh, can we hire Andy? Because yeah, but it's it, not changing this no, too much. No, it shows, it shows us in, in a different screen now. Or yeah. Something. Watch. Let's, let's see what happens. It's still, it's actually, I think it made it worse. Let's do it like that. I think they're liking it better. I think it, because it made it a little worse. We're we going to go back. We're, We're going to go back. Right. Okay. So, um, so okay. What does vitamin A uh, D do? Sorry, we lost our place there a little bit. Uh, you know, the most the thing that vitamin D is mostly known for is how it affects our bone health. Uh, the truth is, it does much more, and which we'll get to in a second. But just how does it help our bone health? Primarily, it promotes the, ca the absorption of calcium in your gut. Uh, which is very important. Otherwise, you're not going to use your calcium properly. It maintains adequate serum calcium and phosphate concentrations, which work in balance to create uh, healthy bones. It enables the normal mineralization of your bone, and it's needed actually for bone growth and bone remodeling. Like if you break a bone for it to re-knit itself, you need that calcium and vitamin A, vitamin A, I'm sorry, vitamin D helps you do that. What else does vitamin D do? It does actually quite a lot. It modulates the growth of every cell in our body. It helps to maintain the healthy neuro neuromuscular function. It helps to maintain healthy immune function. It reduces inflammation in your body. It stabilizes your blood sugar levels. 
And it works with certain genes, this gets technical, but it works with certain genes that encode proteins which regulate cell proliferation. Very important to maintain your, the health of your cellular structure. And overall, it is important to your, to your overall health. There are two types of vitamin D, and there's a lot of confusion about this, so we're gonna try to straighten this out today. The, the main two types, there are others too, but for humans, it's really, we're talking about vitamin D2, it's called ergocalciferol, and vitamin D3, which is colcalciferol. Um, and here's our spoiler alert, they really are not created equal. Uh, but which is the right one? One of the key differences between D2 and D3 is how they're made. Vitamin D3 is the form that occurs naturally in your body. Um, uh, from sunlight, and we'll talk about that in a, in a second. In supplementation, they derive that from lanolin, which is the oil found in sheep's wool. So unfortunately, although there are synthetic versions of D3, they're not as effective. So I will say right up front, this is not a vegan product uh, because it is uh, it does use um, lanolin, which is again, it's the, the it's what if you've ever been around a farm and touched a sheep, their their wool is kind of nice and oily. Andy, uh, while you're talking about it, let me, let me just come in. Someone's asking, well, don't we have vitamin D3 in our multivitamin? Yes, we're going to get to that as to why yes. some people need more later on. Yes. Uh, but I don't want you to think we're ignoring, ignoring your question. The answer to that is the same that, you know, question we get about all of our supplements. About, D, about uh, B12. We get it about B12. We get it about magnesium. Right. The idea, no, we, we will answer why that. I'm going to answer it right now just briefly, and then we'll get to why all specifically. Right. But in general... A multi-cap, a multivitamin and multi-mineral is something that we recommend for absolutely everybody because no matter who you are, how well you eat, you're going to miss out on a daily basis on some, you're going to be some little holes in your nutritional profile. One week it might be that you're not getting enough D, the next week you're getting enough D, but you're not getting enough E, whatever it is. The multivitamin is meant to cover your bases. The specific, when you get into a specific supplement, like the vitamin D and K, like the vitamin B12, like the magnesium, anything else that's specific, that's to address a specific either deficiency or low levels where you're not consistently getting enough of that and uh, you need more than what's in a multi. That's the reason for that. So uh, like with other products, other than our multi-cap, which we recommend to everybody, uh, not everybody needs a vitamin D. A lot of people do because a lot of people are deficient and we'll talk about that, but um, you're not, if you are deficient or you've got really low levels, you're not going to get enough from a multi-cap. That's not what a multi-cap is designed to do. And yes, uh, Deborah, yeah, uh, you take 5,000 uh, megs a day. Yes, a lot of people in, in the north is more deficient than people near to the equator. Yes, which we'll get to also. We'll get to all of that. And 5,000, uh, actually, uh, Deborah, may be more than you need, may be a little too much. Um, so uh, again, D3 is made from lanolin. Uh, it's, the way it's derived is very similar chemically to how it's derived in our own body. So it's very close to what happens naturally. D2, on the other hand, they produce it by exposing fungus or yeast to ultraviolet light in a laboratory. It was a process developed in the 1920s. They patented it and they marketed it to pharmaceutical companies to make a lot of money on it because it was an, a cheap way of artificially making vitamin D. Remember vitamin D, the primary way we're getting it is sunshine. So it's coming from ultraviolet light. So these chem the chemists found that if but they could expose fungus or yeast to ultraviolet light in a lab and create it artificially. Um, historically, that vitamin D2 that was discovered, you know, invented, I should say, in the 1920s is what doctors have used to treat severe vitamin D deficiency. A lot of reasons for that, probably mostly economic because it was a, you know, for many years it was a patented product. So people, there was a profit motive in uh, uh, getting doctors to use vitamin D2. Um, however, more current research tells us that D2 is very inferior to D3. D3 is the type produced by your own body, whereas D2 is by definition synthetic. D3 is 87% more potent in raising your vitamin D concentrations. It's stored in your body two to three times more effectively. It's converted to the active form in your body 
500% faster, five times faster than D2 for it to convert to the form that your body can use. D2 has a shorter shelf life and it binds poorly with proteins, so it makes it even that much less effective. And because D3 is absorbed better, you need less of it to be effective. So even though, even to this day, a lot of doctors are prescribing D2, you really be, you want to be taking D3. Where do we get vitamin D? Um, as I said, very little of it actually comes from our food. Um, there is uh, uh, some food manufacturers put it in products. You'll see vitamin D fortified milk. Fortified Most milk D, yeah. fortified. They fortify it because they know that there's so little in our diets. Uh, you'll see orange juice with vitamin D. You'll see processed foods like breakfast cereal and you know other kinds of garbage like that. Pastas. You'll see all that stuff fortified with vitamin D. Naturally, it does occur in fatty fish like tuna and salmon. It occurs in egg yolks, it occurs in cheese, beef liver, and mushrooms. But if we were dependent solely on our diets, we would not get enough vitamin D. And yes, Andy is single. Yes. Stormy. Yes. Stormy. <laughs> Stormy's actually a dude. Yeah, I know him from Twitter. I That's hilarious. I love that. I love it. Okay. Uh, they call it the sunshine vitamin uh, because we do get most of it from the sun. Our skin converts the ultraviolet rays into vitamin D3, which then uh, through our systems becomes the usable form. It's a kind of a complex process. Problem is that in the 21st century, none of us are getting the kind of sun we used to. I know Vinny and, and I, when we were kids, it was like, go out in the sun, go play in the sun. It's not healthy. only that, we didn't use sunscreen. Not only did we not use sunscreen, we used to put stuff on to get more sun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember, we used to put on, like, like baby oil. There, yeah, baby oil was a good one. There was a product actually called Prism. I don't remember that. That was supposed to magnify the effects of the sun on yeah. your skin so you could burn fast. Yeah, remember that people uh, uh, would, would go to the beach and sit there with the big reflectors? Yeah, to get it those, under their chin. To get, to get under their chin, sun, get yeah. more sun on the face. Yeah. So we all know the reasons that people want to stay out of the sun because it does can cause premature aging and uh, certain types of skin cancer, but it does mean we're not getting as much vitamin D. So if you live in a colder, darker climate, you don't get as many sunny days, you're going to be more likely to be deficient. If you do have a warmer climate, but you use a lot of sunscreen or you don't spend a lot of time outdoors, people with darker complexions, and this seems counterintuitive because, you know, it's like you say, you know, asphalt is black and it, can, and it absorbs sun, but our darker skin doesn't absorb the ultraviolet lights as well as lighter skin. So African-Americans, uh, South Asians, people with darker skin will not absorb sunlight as well. Yeah, and we've been throwing the stuff at Dylan all day. Take it, just take <laughs> yeah, it Yeah, Stormy says sun is racist. Yeah. Um, so what is a vitamin uh, D deficiency? Uh, like with all the vitamins, there are very specific standards and measures to, de to define what is deficient. But there's also, uh, with everything, there's, there's the, the deficient level, and kind of just above that is the inadequate level, which is not technically deficient. But, and we talked about this in our B12 seminar, uh, webinar, um, that low level, kind of inadequate or low normal, you can get some of the same symptoms and risks associated with actual deficiency. Andy, let me answer a question here. Suzanne is asking if I'm actually deficient because I'm an outdoor guy and I'm inside. I actually run outside yeah. several days a week, probably twice a week. I run for you know anywhere from 60 minutes to 90 minutes up in the mountains. I would never do this on the street. But I take my shirt off, winter and summer. We have summertime year-round here. Pretty much. bright sun. Pretty much. And every time I go in, because I, I, I have olive skin, I'm no Dylan, but I have olive skin, I'm always on the low side of normal. Doctor's always going, you need to get more vitamin D. Yeah. And I'm like, who gets more than me? I, I'm, an out, I'm in a kayak every weekend. It's hard to know. Yeah. Uh, Lencha, yes, the PDF will be available. Yeah. Uh, so some of the symptoms of vitamin D deficiency, uh, the most common ones are osteoporosis and, you know, uh, nobody really gets rickets anymore, but, but you know, uh, uh, weaknesses of the bones. Uh, you can get type 1 diabetes. Andy, I, I, I hate to tell you you're wrong, but I read an article a few weeks back. But people are still getting rickets? Rickets are now a thing again. Wow. And it's because, I, I, I thought you knew that. I thought we discussed this. 
because vitamin D, people aren't getting enough vitamin D. Interesting. Interesting. So inside, Ricketts is making a comeback. People are sitting inside doing this. Is what's next? Smallpox. I think. Okay. So type the one. Polio is on them. Yeah. Oh God. Uh, I remember getting the thing on the arm for the yeah. polio. Uh, asthma, depression. Your mood, pressure, and coronary heart disease uh, you can get from vitamin D deficiency, and certainly muscle aches and weakness. But it can also put you at greater risk for diseases like cancer, tuberculosis, Crohn's disease, very much, uh, MS even. Um, these are all the risks of being vitamin D deficient. We talked a little bit earlier about, um, actually I didn't, we're talking about it now. Um, as important as each of the, the 13 essential vitamins are, how they interact with each other is just as important. And vitamin D and vitamin K have a very specific connection. And uh, it's, it's been uh, understood much more and more in the last couple decades that if you're taking vitamin D supplementation, you really want to be adding vitamin K. And there's a very specific reason. As we said earlier, the primary way that vitamin D helps you with your bone strength is it helps you absorb calcium in your gut. The problem can come where, you know, too much of a good thing can happen. And if you start to absorb too much, you get uh, excessive calcium uptake and that can, uh, you know, have some negative uh, effects. You can have, it can uh, interfere with your cardiac function, your renal function. They call that metastatic calcium. By adding vitamin K, and particularly K2, um, it activates a number of proteins in the body and it helps keep that all in check, in balance. So there's no risk if you're taking that vitamin D with the vitamin K that, you, that, that you're going to start overproducing calcium or overutilizing calcium. It keeps it in that nice kind of balance. System of checks and balances. And while Andy's going to the next screen, uh, I saw a question where someone was asking about soy milk. Uh, and this is off the subject, but you know what? I'm all about health and fitness and as an audience here. So I just have to say this. There is never a good time ever in the history of anything where soy is a yes answer for me. All right. There is no good soy. I got it. Vinny. Uh, excuse me. All. I have to sort of stretch out a little bit. This is embarrassing. I had knee surgery Andy's a week ago. Old. No, I had knee surgery and I've got to stretch my leg a little bit because it's starting to hurt. This is okay now? not fine. I just have to stretch my leg a little bit. So that's me being a little that's bit Andy just hyper to real. Completely off camera. Just, what are you doing there? Uh, yes, vitamin D, uh, vitamin K2 does help with vitamin D you absorb from the sun, um, but only if you're taking it. So uh, vitamin, vitamin K in general does help you uh, metabolize your, your vitamin D better. Uh, so just like we said, what is vitamin D? Vit what is vitamin K? Uh, this is a somewhat complex answer. Like vitamin D, it's a compound. It's not just one thing. And like vitamin D, it is one of the fat soluble vitamins, which means that it dissolves in fat and it is stored in your body. Unlike the water soluble vitamins, the vitamin B family and vitamin C, which are not stored in the body at all and which dissolve in water. Um, the two main types, there are more than this, but the two really important types of vitamin K are K1, it's known as phytonidione or sometimes philoquinone, and vitamin K2, menaquinone. And to make it more complicated, there are two different types of vitamin K2, MK4, which is, stands for menaquinone 4, and menaquinone 7. And again, there are actually like 13 different menaquinones, but the 4 and the 7 are the key ones. So what all that means is, that all of those different forms, K1 versus K2, MK4 versus MK7 within K2, they all operate a little bit differently. They all do kind of the same range of things, but they attack it in slightly different ways. So just like if you were going to say, I want to take my B vitamins, you wouldn't take just B6. You want to take all the B vitamins or you're not getting the complete picture. Same thing with vitamin K. Uh, you really want to have the whole compound. Um, what else does vitamin K do? We already talked about how it helps you utilize the calcium that, uh, and, and not overdo it on that's that, that the vitamin D is helping you absorb, but it does other things. The main thing that it's known for is what it does to regulate your body's blood clotting and coagulation functions. Um, that also helps uh, with the, um, preventing calcification of arteries and, and other soft tissues. 
Um, deficiency in vitamin K in adults, not all that common. In children, very common. So common, in fact, that newborns are routinely given a shot of vitamin K before they're sent home. That's amazing. When we learned that information yeah. and we're doing all the studying, that, that was one of the most amazing things we came up with. Yeah, it's just, a, it's, a, it's standard practice now because children are, baby, infants are born with very low vitamin K. Um, the, the risks of deficiency, obviously defective clotting, uh, you'll Pretty bruise easy, easily. Good question here. How do we get vitamin K naturally? I will tell you. That's coming up. We will be telling you that. We will get there. Around for, you got ahead of us, uh, James. Yeah, we have, all will be covered. Oh, yeah, every bit of it. Yeah, oh. every bit of it gets covered. Um, you'll bruise easily. You can have gastrointestinal bleeding. Uh, women, you can have excessive menstrual bleeding uh, if you're vitamin K deficient. You can see blood in the urine. Um, again, really gross vitamin K deficiency is rare in adults. The reason you want it more with a formula like this, again, is having to do with how it interacts with the vitamin D. Uh, we do have to make a, an interaction caution here. Because of its effects on blood coagulation, if you are on any kind of an anticoagulant, you know, Coumadin, Warfarin, um, it's not that you can't take a vitamin K, it need, means you need to consult with your physician. If you are gonna take vitamin K and you are on any kind of an anticoagulant, and your physician will tell you whether or not it's okay to take and how much. Yeah. Gotta put it, that in. Um, so here's your answer. Who was it that, uh, that, that asked? Uh, James. James. James Fritz, where do we get vitamin K? Vitamin K1 is the one that we get more of in food. We get that in fatty fish, we get that in egg yolks, we get it in cheese, beef liver, mushrooms. Uh, vitamin K2, we don't get a lot of in food. That's why most uh, supplements use K2, is because we're just not getting it that much in our food. It comes mostly from fermented foods so like in asian foods that have you know the fermented soybeans or uh products that use yeast anything that is fermented will will likely have uh some vitamin k2 in it uh some foods are are, are going to fortify but not as many uh let's continue why k1 and k2 um well we talked about K1 and K2 uh, do uh, both approach things a little bit differently. Um, K1 is what we get more in food. K2 is what we get more in supplements. Why MK4 and MK7? Just like in, uh, uh, we, we just talked about, they, they give you slightly different ways of approaching the um, uh, the, the functions of, uh, of vitamin K. Um, I have to go back because you know what I realized when I was reading this thing, I, I uh, made a mistake on that, that panel and I'm gonna have to go back and redo it. When I did this, I left in the food sources for vitamin D. Those are not the food sources for vitamin K. The real, and I'll correct this before we publish this, the real sources for vitamin D, uh, vitamin K are more vegetable foods. The, uh, uh, I was correct when I was saying that K2, comes more from fermented foods, but K1 is really coming from leafy greens. It's coming from kale and broccoli and cabbage, that sort of thing. Oh, by the way, just to answer a question from earlier, the only way to know if vitamin D is working or if you have a deficiency is blood work. There's no guesswork about this. No. So when you're going to see your doctor, people want to know, how do you know if you're, you're low in vitamin D? I give blood work all the time because yeah. I'm a cancer survivor, so I have to go in more often. But yeah, it doesn't cost a whole lot. We're talking about a small investment in your health to go get the blood work done to find out what you might be deficient yeah. in. And it's not like, and people you know, ask these questions, well, I'm taking it and I don't feel any different. It's, you're not gonna feel any different the next day that you take it. What it's gonna do is if, you, if your body needs it because you're not getting enough, you're gonna have the you know, uh, uh, stronger bones, you're gonna have less likelihood of developing osteoporosis you're going to be less likely to suffer a bone fracture if you uh, uh, fall or hurt yourself. Uh, you're going to be less likely to bruise easily, all of those things. Um, so dosage, people are talking about dosage all the time. And we hear people say a lot, I'm taking 5,000 IU, I'm taking 10,000 IU. 
Um, fact of the matter is that uh, mostly when people are prescribing really high amounts, and I'm not going to try to cast too many aspersions on doctors, but um, if you don't get your blood work done, will it hurt to take the DK supplement if you are not deficient? Not if you're taking uh, a, a, a reasonable dose. And that's why, that, you know, and let me answer a question that we might not answer here. You know, some people put out 5,000 IUs. Some people put out 1,000 IUs. Some people put out four and 500 IUs. We went with 2,000 IUs in this product so that people can either, you know, two, 2,000 IUs is not too much for anyone. You, you no. won't blow out and you won't have too much. I'm going to actually get to this. If you want to dose up, you can. Right. Here's, here's the thing. And, and uh, uh, Penny, if you already have osteoporosis, this will help keep it in check. This will absolutely help with it. Um, and Stormy, yes, these do help inflammation. Uh, so, you know, uh, the U.S. Institute of Medicine say that our daily intake should be 400 to 800 and that for 97.5% of people, that's enough. You know, other studies suggest that we need considerably higher, that the range uh, that's healthy is between one and 4,000 to maintain that adequate level, which is, to get really technical, 50 nanomoles per liter. That's kind of the measurement that they use. That's uh, anything above that is, a, is a, a, a normal level up to a certain point where it gets to be too high. And the, like all things, you don't want your levels to be too high. Um, the National Institutes of Health, which is what we look to to give us the guidelines on how much we need of everything, our uh, recommended daily uh, uh, allowance, all of that, um, the tolerable intake, upper intake level, which means that what, what they don't want you going above unless a physician is giving you a very good reason to go above is 4,000 IU. So we can all assume that even if you are staying in a blackened room all day and not eating properly, you're still going to get a few hundred IU a day of vitamin D. You're not going to get zero. Your, son, your skin is still going to make some. You're still going to get some in your diet unless you're fasting and in a blackened room. Um, when you take a supplement that is already 5,000, that means with what you're getting from sun and diet, you're probably now upwards of six to 7,000 at a minimum. Uh, for most people, and again, you know, we don't, we don't want to ever contradict people's physicians, but for most people, that's just too much. Uh, it, it, as we were saying, you know, the reason for the vitamin K is uh, to minimize how much our, um, uh, you know, is going into your bones and to other places in your body so that you're not getting, you know, calcification. Uh, and if you're getting that much uh, a day, uh, for most people, it's too much. Let's look at Daniel's question right here. I think it's a good question we can answer. Uh, you know, Daniel, it really depends on your specific needs. As we said earlier, the combo, I mean, the, the, the daily multicap is, is covering all your bases. The magnesium is going to be helping you with muscle cramping, with muscle fatigue, with relaxation, with sleep, with digestion, uh, with tension. With, there are a lot of things that that's going to be doing for you. The vitamin B12 is going to be helping you with your energy levels and with your uh, uh, um, blood health. Um, none of those are going to be affected adversely by adding vitamin D. It, do you need the vitamin D? I don't know. That's something that you would be in a better position to know than I, but it's not going to, uh, like, there's not like a, a cumulative effect that it's too much because they're uh, hitting your body in different ways. Um, what happens if you overdose on, on it's, you know, to, to actually overdose, you're not going to overdose on D or K. With the K, you have to be careful, again, only if you're on Coumadin or Warfarin or one of the, the uh, anticoagulant drugs, then there is an and issue. And also, Mo, you do not have to um, take with food. It, it doesn't create better absorption. No, it, because this is a, a fat-soluble fat soluble. and it's coming in a fat uh, suspension, oil suspension, it's going to absorb on its own. Uh, okay, so what is the best way to take these? Again, they're both fat soluble, so you want to take them in an oil based delivery system. And uh, let's show those again. The uh, can we actually pull one out? Uh, I, well, here, you know what? I'll open up a bottle here and I'll show you because it's hard to see 
that in that big bag of stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to see this uh, clearly, but you know, you've all see seen it. these. Yeah, you've all seen. Yeah, hold it a little closer to the camera. That's you've all good. yeah. You've all seen what um, an, uh, uh, they call these soft gels. What those look like. So those are filled with oil, right? Uh, it's a gelatin made out of gelatin and filled with oil. Now most companies they have to you have to pick an oil to put in there. Uh, mostly what you'll see in supplements is safflower oil. And Vinny, I know rails about safflower oil the t all the time. Well, let me let me rail about it just a bit more. Safflower oil, uh, uh, rapeseed oil, seed oils are basically rancid from the get go. Uh, to put it simply, and they're all very high in omega sixes. This is the the fatty acid that's not good for your health. It's got to be mixed with a good omega three. So even if you're getting, let's say the product is made with olive oil, most olive oils are cut. You guys have heard me tell that uh, do that Villa Capelli a, a thousand times. Yeah, it's hard to find the real stuff. Even if it says extra virgin olive oil. It, 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 let me give you some of the keywords. They can say extra virgin. It can say uh, cold press. It can say first press. It can say, you know, all of this stuff. It can actually say from Italy, from Spain, from Greece, you know, Greece. California. It doesn't matter. There is a place you can go. We might do it on a Saturday seminar where you can go online and look and see what the good ones are. But we made that easy for you by picking a good one. Uh, James, it doesn't matter what time you take the vitamin D and K. And Melissa, a powder with no K. Mm. I'm just going to leave that there. Mm. Mm. Uh, Come on, Melissa, just get this. <laughs> well, why are you messing around? You, we're right. old friends, Melissa. Been here for a long time. Come on. What are you doing? Uh, all right. So, uh, the, well, are you cutting uh, off? Uh, yes, I'm cutting you off because I'm I know, but that's okay. Uh, so the reason that they, they put those oils, you know, the, the, the cheap fake olive oils or the safflowers, because they're cheaper. Okay. So, but I thought olive oil was good and it is. And we've just kind of, you know, we talked around this already a little bit. It's all, olive oil is only good if it's real olive oil, it's real extra virgin. It is really pure and it's a hundred percent. And, uh, uh, Vinny's talked about this a lot on the podcasts, how, you know, you can actually in this country, you can market a product and call it extra virgin olive oil if it's something like 30% extra virgin olive oil and the rest is some other crap. You can still call it extra virgin. So you have to know where your olive oil is coming from. Which brings us to our new product. Uh, what makes ours different? Uh, as with all of our products. How is my, this isn't mine. Wait, whose phone is going off? That's mine. Oh. All right. Oh, you chose right. to alter I know. All right. Off. All right. Okay. Uh, as with all of our products, um, you know, we, we use only the finest products possible. And, you know, this gets back to the dosing. We don't look to give you the most. We look to give you the optimal dose. That's going to be what you need and not more. And not add any fillers, binders, flow agents, any of that nonsense. Uh you know, we've talked about this in our last webinar too, our approach with our first two products, they were both capsules and we were told that wasn't possible to do without fillers. We did it. Next, we came up with our B12 tabs, which those are even more difficult because you still need to put that in some material. But we found a way to do that using a, a material that was an active ingredient, the calcium citrate, that's actually good for you rather than just a junk ingredient. And we managed to do all that without any binders or sweeteners or anything. Uh, now, the soft gel was our new challenge because that you have to, by definition, put an added ingredient because it has to be an oil. So we had to figure out how to do that. And that wasn't too hard. Given the relationship we have with Villa Capelli, we made an exclusive agreement with them. We are the only supplement company in the world that has an agreement with Villa Capelli to use their uh their oil in our products not only the only one who does but it is an exclusive nobody else can use their olive oil in their uh supplement products let me explain what that means you know like if you own you know like a, a bakery and you say we have the world's best apple pie right we we know that it's not you know how can you know because apple pie is made all over the world you can't possibly know but you can say that tongue in cheek, world's best apple pie. 
this is the only product in the world with Villa Capelli olive oil. <laughs> Rebecca saying that everyone should call Andy now. Thank you, Rebecca. Great idea. Uh, I love Rebecca. Um, so yes, this uh, Villa Capelli. This was I actually. Uh, some people may have even noticed this was this was over a year ago. It was a year ago, January, I think. Mm -hmm. I actually went to uh, Italy to Villa Capelli, and so I could sit down with Paul and Stephen and hammer out this deal. And it was uh, like the Godfather when they sent Michael to Sicily to hide out for a while. Yeah, pretty much. And he met Apollonia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Andy went to Italy I, and had a sit down. Yeah, I had a sit down in Italy. It was a terrible, terrible assignment. So, first of its kind, let's tell you exactly what is, is making our product different. Um, we're only using vitamin D3, the natural form from lanolin. Sorry, vegans. Uh, we are using the optimum dosage, 2,000. For those who feel like they need more and you want 4,000, then we would say take two. But we want to make sure that we're not overdosing for most people for whom 2,000 is enough. 4,000 for even I think the, uh, the people who require it the most is enough. If you have a physician that's telling you you need 10,000, we're not gonna argue with that. But for us, the way we've done it, the way we uh, understand it, 2,000 for the vast majority of people is plenty, 4,000 if you're really, really you know, deficient. Um, we have the full vitamin K complex, and I don't know of another supplement out there that does that. We have the vitamin K1, 200 micrograms. And the reason we put in the K1 when most people don't is most, most supplements think, well, you know, we're, you're getting your K1 from your food, but we don't know that. We all know that, that, that everybody's got holes in their nutrition and you may not be getting your, your K1 very well. So we want to make sure you're getting the whole K complex, K1 and K2, and that you're getting both forms of K2, both K MK4 and MK7. On top of that, wait, there's more. Um, there is only one branded version of MK7 on the market. And whenever you see a study, I read, you know, this study that says uh, uh, vitamin K2 does this. This study says vitamin K K2 helps with this. Every last study on vitamin K2 that you have ever read is you used one product and one product only, and that is vitamin K as K2 as MK7, and it's the branded MenaQ7. That is the brand you can see there on the screen. It is a, a, a licensed, patented version of MK uh, of MK7. We're using exclusively that for our MK7. So, because that is shown to be the most effective MK7 on the market. We're also, as we said, we are the only soft gel, not just a vitamin D, but any soft gel that uses Villa Capelli extra virgin olive oil. You won't even see on anybody else that says extra virgin olive oil. It'll never say what the brand is because it's all going to be some generic cheap brand. Right. I guarantee it. And no other ingredients whatsoever other than the gelatin capsule itself. And that is a gelatin capsule. So again, vegans, that's... Well, let me say this about vegans. Some vegans will use lanolin because no animals were harmed in... Correct. Grabbing the lanolin. Correct. Yeah, they, they shear it. They get it out of the hair. Yes, but so, the but the gelatin capsule that is that is no vegan will use a gelatin capsule. Believe it or not, some will. The ones oh. the vegans who just don't want to kill animals. All right. But realize the uh, advantageous yeah. uh, effects of actually. Well, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just. Being I don't want to get into the whole conversation. No, I'm just, no, and I have no but, problem yeah. with that. I just want to be upfront for that if you that that if you're being very strictly vegan, this is not a strictly yeah, vegan. Yeah, but product. if you if you're not if you're being a good vegan, the ones that you know just don't want to do it because they don't want to see an animal die, then no animal dies in this product. No, that's not true because the because of the gelatin capsules. What are you talking about? The gelatin capsules are made from lanolin. You no, no. Kill. The D three has come from from lanolin, not the gelatin itself. Oh, oh, sorry. So I stand corrected. Gelatin does sorry, not. Sorry, vegan. Animals do die for gelatin. Yeah. Sorry, um, and no artificial colors. You know, when when I was working with the uh, uh, you know our factory, they they asked me, you know, well, what color do you want to put in the capsules? You know, because you can make them blue, you can make them red. I like no, no colors. This is all natural. Look how beautiful they look, yeah. all natural. That is just the color of the olive oil that you're seeing and the, and the gelatin capsule. So that's all that's in there. Uh, how do you get it? 
and we're getting to the to the good stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to sleep so well on that. Um, you, like with everything else, you can get it on our website. All of our products, uh, other than the multi-cap, are available either subscription or single purchase, non-recurring. Uh, we have three core combo packs. That's not changing. We still have the combo pack A, which is the multi-cap with magnesium, the combo pack B, which is the multi-cap plus the B12, and the combo pack C, which is everything. And you can get all of our products on Amazon. This one, the vitamin D, will not be on Amazon for two more weeks. It, it uh, launches on April 12th. Here's where we have a new volume discount program. And somebody was asking me about this today. Uh, well, will there be a combo pack with the D? And the answer is no. And the reason for that is, uh, as we add more products, it was going to start getting, you know, combo pack, A, B, C, D, X, you know, E, F, G. We're going to run out of alphabet. We're going to total run out of alphabet. So what we came up with was something that so I think is even better. So we can continue. No, no, no hieroglyphics. No. What we came up with is a volume discount program where any two items that you purchase, whether that's on subscription or a one-time purchase, is an automatic 5% discount. Any three items, and that could be two of the same or three different ones, 10% discount. And four or more at a time is a 15% discount. Combo packs, the three combo packs that we already have, all count as one item. So I'm going to show you an infographic here that explains how this works. Okay, so say you have, right now, you have a combo pack A. You're getting the multi-cap and the magnesium. That's one item. That is one item. If you add the uh, vitamin D, you'll now have two items. So the vitamin, that combo pack is already about a 9% discount over the price of buying those two items individually. So now if you're getting that combo pack, you're still paying the $42.95, which is that about 9% uh, discount over if you were to buy uh, multi-cap and the magnesium separately. You're going to get that $42.95 plus the $21.95, which is the subscription price to the vitamin D, um, and then 5% off the whole shebang. So I don't have a calculator in That's front of 14%, me. Fourteen percent, but, well, but but it's only five percent off the D. So it it's five percent. Like it's five percent off the whole the whole shebang. On top of the the nine percent savings right, that you got. Right. Right. So you're getting kind of even more savings. Are you making money here, Andrew? I think we're losing money. No, we're making a little money. We're not getting rich, but we're yeah. making more money. Obviously so ten percent. Uh, I'm pointing like with my, my finger, like they can see it. Yeah. Uh, ten percent. Uh, if you get uh, three or more items, items or combo packs. And 15% if you get four uh, or uh, items or combo packs. But here's the thing. Let, let, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to teach you guys how to cheat. Let's say you want to buy the vitamin D separately, and you know you're going to be taking it month on end, uh, and you have a vitamin, you know, you already have 15, you already have the uh, vitamin you know, pack A. You get that, right? Yeah. You add three bottles of vitamin D, you get an additional 15% off, correct? Yeah, but then you have to change your subscription and all that. So I'm just That's saying, I mean, so uh, uh, Daniel, yes, if you have a combo pack A and you add the vitamin D, you're going to get 5% off the already discounted price of $42.95 plus $29.95, whatever that math comes to. And that's how that's how this new system works. And by the way, this infographic is on the website. I went too far. Uh, this is. What the hell? This infographic is on the website. Uh, on the homepage, there's, a, there's a, uh, a yellow link that says new volume discount. You can click there. And on every product page next to the order button, uh, the add to cart button, you can pop up this little infographic. It'll pop up and then you can make it go away again. It's not going to move you out of your page. So it's very easy to get in and out of. Uh, now. The special offer, and this is only for the webinar attendees, and it's only good. Last time we did this, we made it good for two hours. This time we're making it good for 24 hours because a lot of people didn't have a chance to do it. And then they came back and said, oh, I did the webinar, but I, you know, I, I had to run out. I was going out to dinner. You've got 24 hours to get in on this. From right now, it's 10 minutes of 6, 10 minutes of 9 if you're on the East Coast. If you're in between, do the math now. Right. 30% oh. discount. 
the discount code is here, PVCDKWeb. All caps, no spaces, no underscores, nothing like that. PVC DK Web that will give you a 30% discount on the vitamin D. So the way the new ordering system works with the, the new pricing system, say you uh, do the 30% discount and you're doing multiple items. So on your che uh, checkout page, it's going to say discount and then in parentheses, 30% on vitamin D. 5% for two items or 10% for, it'll uh, break it out like that and then it'll show you the total amount in dollars and cents of the discount. Karen, you are welcome. And a uh, little side bet, Andy, how much you want to bet Don Coddington did not wait for the discount code? Is this the final discount? No, I'll tell you, I'll tell you up front. There will be another discount when this is over of uh, uh, 15%. So once the 30% the uh, has come and gone, uh, for the next, like, like, you know, five, six days, we're going to be offering a 15% discount. But we're also redoing this on Saturday. So there'll be a 30% discount again on Saturday. Yes. yes. You know, but yeah, Correct. but then for about a week or so, you know. It'll be about a 15% discount. But why not get the 30%? 30% per is better than 15. That's the way I look at it. Um, so now we have just a few minutes for open Q&A, if anybody has something. Uh, it's always shocking that we keep, you know, most seminars and webinars, you do these things, the numbers go down during the seminar. Ours continue to go up the entire time. It's crazy. 463 people here? Yeah. That's more than, than we're signed in when, or signed up when we started. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is vitamin D uh, a 90 day like the rest of the body? Website is no, www. Answer that first. It's vitamin D a ninety. Day. Yes, it's a ninety day, like everything else. Uh, it's a slightly smaller bottle. It's, uh, if you can see, here's the multi cap bottle. Uh, here's the vitamin D bottle, and here's the B twelve bottle. It's kind of you know like the the, the middle child, uh, but it is ninety. Uh, still rocking four hundred. Yeah, we sure are. If you have a subscription for combo and additional mag then order this to a separate sub. You can add it to your original subscription. If uh, uh, your subscription date is not set to renew for a couple weeks or whenever it is, it'll go out. If you, um, when you check out, you say, select add to your current subscription. Whenever your next shipment date is, that's when it'll go out. Uh, the discount will be applied. Your card won't be charged until that day that the, the actual shipment, but it will be shipped, uh, charged the, the amount, including the discount and the five or 10 or 15 if you're doing that. Uh, it ships immediately. We're shipping right away. We, uh, when we did the, the vitamin B12, we made a big mistake and we under ordered by about 500%. So we ran out after three days. Something like that. Yeah, we were shocked. So it was uh, shocked. So we planned. We did much better this time. We ordered literally ten times what we ordered the last time, so that that would not happen. So we have a a, a full stock at the warehouse. We will have a full stock at uh, at Amazon. If anybody you know you want to wait till Amazon, you can do that too. Uh, this question right here from Matt Benson. I take two magnesium pills a day. I have the combo pack and an extra mag order. When I add this, will I get ten percent? Uh, two magnets. So uh, you'll get, um, uh, yeah, you'll get the ten percent or fifteen percent on your whole order. And by the way, anybody who already has a subscription, this new pricing system with the discounts that gets applied automatically to all existing subscriptions. You don't have to like re-sign up or anything. If you have an existing subscription, next time it comes through for a shipment and you have two or more items, these discounts will apply automatically. You don't have to do anything. It's, it's baked into the system. We coded it all. All existing subscriptions get the new discount the next time they go out. Don wants to know, are vitamin D and K effective for uh, post-surgery bone and tissue healing? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I um, um, was very excited to get this. Uh, we just literally got them in, uh, what was it, yesterday? I think it was yesterday, because uh, I am healing from, not bone, but uh, a meniscus tear surgery in my knee, so I know that this is going to be helping me. Uh, Mo, don't be confused. Just call our uh, 
Uh, call us up, Mo, well. anytime. Uh, if you want to add it to your subscription, you just put it in your cart, go to checkout, and when you get to step four and you see those options, select add to your current subscription. If you're not sure how to do it, not tonight, but because uh, our, our hours uh, that we do this are nine to five Pacific, Monday through Friday, call us. Dylan and I are both here answering the calls. We will be doing that all day tomorrow, answering any calls that anybody has at 1-866-PURE-321. People are checking out now, people are buying this. Yes, cool. If you want your DK supplement now, and you don't, and you can, um, uh, if you're adding it to your subscription, but you want a bottle now, go ahead and do the add to your subscription and then go back in as a separate uh, uh, transaction and choose the single, per, you know, the, the one time, the single purchase non recurring and enter your credit card and then it'll go out now. Somebody in Connolly had the same question, but I don't see Connolly. Connolly, I am a regular subscription. Uh, uh, Connolly Carnival, just, uh, I was just talking about this. So if you just got yours the other day, what I would say is, is you can go get the, uh, if you don't want to screw up your delivery date, go to the single purchase slash non-recurring on the website. There's a separate page for that, for the single purchase non-recurring of the vitamin D. Put that in your cart. When you get to checkout, don't do add to my subscription. The, the last choice is just enter your credit card. And that'll just send it out immediately. It's already too late, but it'll, it would go out, you know, next business day. So like tomorrow, if you did it now. Ted says, awesome deal. Just bought three bottles, got both discounts. Thanks, yep. guys. Discount 30% off. Vitamin D, 10% off. Go. Three items. Twenty. It works. It works. Shipping and handling. Best way, first class. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Grand total. $52 for everything. I mean, yeah. Andy, we're making money and we're giving stuff away. <laughs> I thought we went into business to make a buck. We we did. Jesus don't God. oversell. I'm going to die, oversell. bro. I'm going to die, bro. It's, I'm dying, bro. No, don't oversell. It's Dylan, all, you're fired. We can't no, afford you. It's uh, all how good. How do we afford this? It's all good. Just so you know, guys, how new this is, if you look at this uh, graphic, fired, yeah, the, reason that the, the reason that the vitamin D looks different is because we haven't even had a chance to have the professional bottle photography yet. So that's a mock-up. The other three, those are that's professional bottle photography. The vitamin D here, that's a a, a mock-up. We'll have be getting the real photography in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, again, anybody, if you're confused about it, you want to wait until tomorrow morning. You want to call us and have us help you through it. And you, uh, you know, the the discounts codes will still be good. Dylan and I are girding our loins for an onslaught of phone that's calls. That's horrible. <laughs> Well, you know, Gord, that's an old expression. Gord, you're lying. Yeah, the kids prepare for battle. know about that. Prepare yeah, for battle. We're preparing for battle. We're prepared to do it. Uh, does it have an expiry period? This is a very good question because people ask this sort of thing all the time. They don't have a real expiry period. What they what uh, the the date that you'll see on the bottle? Uh, who's doing it on the bottom of the bottle? Is the date of manufacture? So, what does that date say there, Vin? And people get confused about that. It says two twenty six eighteen. And people think, oh my God, yeah. they gave me something that just went expired at 228.18. No, no, that's the manufacture, manufacture date. Yeah. So uh, generally the shelf life uh, of all vitamins is two years. Does that mean that in two years, all of a sudden it's bad and you should throw it out and it's gonna poison you and it's not gonna be effective? No. What that means is that we can't guarantee after two years that it will maintain 100% of its effectiveness. Will it? More than likely, two years later, it will still have 100%. The bottom line is you buy the stuff, you're supposed to take it. Right. It's like getting a gym membership and then never going back to the right. gym. If you haven't used a bottle of 90 vitamins in two years, you probably didn't need it in the first place. Yeah, yeah. You need to. You need to. When you buy it, take it. If you get a gym membership, show up. No, well, there's no. There's uh, David. There's no maximum allowed. There's no maximum. And that's my buddy, David Mansour, down in Florida. Yeah, I don't know. If you're getting a message that's, that tells you you can't order more than five, I need to know about that because there should be no uh, maximum there. David, I'm not aware of your mom like, and every, David's when he's really generous. Site says guys. the maximum quantity allowed for purchase is five. Um, that's news to me. I will look into that tomorrow morning first thing. Yeah, so buy five and go back and buy five more if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I, I was not aware of that. I, I don't understand that i will if that's Naveed. 
I, d I don't know why that is. I will find out what that is. Okay. Um, cause we, I've never authorized any maximum limit. Yeah. Um, so if you want to get more than five, buy five and then go right back in and buy three more. Dave, I'm sorry about that. We will get that. Finished. Yeah, I'll get that. It, it's, uh, it's sounding like Margaret's had that problem issue before. So it's probably been like that forever and I'm not aware. Um, so David and Margaret, thank you for letting me know that because I want that fixed. Discount code again, Jeff is PVC. Uh, oh, you went past it. PVC, DK Web. PVC for Pure Vitamin Club, DK for Vitamin D plus K, Web for Webinar, PVC, DK Web. And the question, does it all have to be caps or can it be any, can it be lowercase or do we know? Uh, I, I think it's, it, it, it works either way. Try it, you know, just put in all caps, should be, should be okay. Um, lower worked for Brandon. Okay, it's not case sensitive. Um, there was just another question that I saw and it, it scrolled past already. I wanted to get back to it. What was that? Uh, if currently deficient, any clue what dose to start at? I would start at 2000. If your blood work tells you that it's, uh, you know, you're seriously deficient, then I would go to four. I, unless doctor saying, no, you really, really need to, to, to go higher. I wouldn't go higher than four. And, and by the way, the big thing to worry about here and the thing you want to pay attention to, and we said it in the seminar, so legally we were covered, but I want to cover it again. If you're taking Coumadin or a Warfarin, or Warfarin any, yeah. a, any of the blood thinning drugs, right? Uh, if you've had blood clots and so on and so forth, vitamin K does not you know, always work with that. You might have to take a lesser dose. Your doctor might say this has too much. This is not me just doing it because our attorney Scott said to do it. You have to know this. You have to go talk to your yes. doctor because we do have the best form of K in this product but you might have a medical issue because of your medication. Yeah, that's the only, that is the only caution in terms of interactions is if you are taking an anticoagulant. Uh, if there's no other questions, we are at an hour and four minutes. I'm glad we cut it down this time, man. Yeah, Finny, yeah. Finny like said, we got to cut it down to half an hour. And half I said, an that's hour. People not going to happen. It's it's not going to happen. All the time um, I want to thank on. everybody for coming. We really appreciate it. We love, Finny, I love doing these. Uh, our apologies for the slight uh, malfunction at the beginning. I still don't know why that happened, but it did, and we got it up and running. And I'm glad we were able to get through it. I'm glad you were all uh, able to join us. Uh, if you have questions, again, you can, uh, and you don't want to call or can't call, support at purevitaminclub.com. And again, Dylan and I answer all of those ourselves, and we will answer them all within 24 hours. One final word, a couple of people at the beginning of the seminar was telling us ways that we can reconfigure this where it looks better and they can see half our picture in a, a pure form. We will go back and look at those, but uh, if you want to write to Pure Vitamin Club tomorrow, uh, there was two or three people who gave us advice and um, we would change it for the Saturday show to make it yeah. more user friendly. So thank you guys for that. Again, support at purevitaminclub.com. And uh, one eight six six pure three two one. Great. All right, you guys have a good evening. All right, uh, thanks everybody so much. Really thank appreciate you for it. All that good stuff. Yep. Did something just show up in my thing that says seven thousand something views. Wait, wait. Fifteen things I want to hear. PVC is amazing. I'll buy one. I'm not buying this.